for me as craftsman and bushcrafter, it's much more valuable to have such a little rabbit in the two-speak slot instead of a two-speak. In this video, you get all important information about this modification. I show you my way to do it and I show you my uses. So stay tuned. Hello YouTube! Welcome to another Swiss Army Knife workshop video. In this series I show you maintenance and customization tricks for your Swiss Army Knife. Last week I showed you how you can replace the plastic head from teasers and toothpick with self-made stainless steel ones. So the connection between the two legs of the tweezers and the metal head is soldered, so this works well. But the connection between the plastic toothpick and the metal head is just glued with super glue. And I was never 100% happy with that. As I studied for another solution for this connection, I came up with a new idea. Not a connection idea, but a tool idea. Do you know this kind of hand drills with this spiral? So I guess in America they call also Archimedes drill. How I know this tool, they don't have a normal spiral drill on top. They have a drill with a lens shaped tip on the end. And this tip works on both directions. So that means if you take a straight stick, if you split it a little bit and make a notch with the saw, and you clamp it like this, you can use this drill like a hand drill. And with this you can make small holes super quick and super accurate. And of course, also a normal spiral drill works for this task. But hey, in my opinion, these drills with the lens-shaped drill tip works more efficient. If you try to make a 2 mm hole with the reamer, this works, but only if the hole is not deeper than 2 mm, because after, the diameter is too big. And if you want to make a deep hole with the reamer, doesn't really work well because the reamer is not symmetric. That means if you make the hole, the hole tends always to run away from the center line like this. Maybe you ask yourself, for what or in which situation do I need a 2 mm hole? So let me tell you just my first thoughts. So often if you want to improvise traps, you need proper holes at the exact position for wires and, and strings or if you want to improvise fishing materials, you need often holes for the fishing line. Or if you want to make jewelry from, from natural materials, you need fine holes. Or um, if you want to make uh, instruments, flutes for example, for air channels and air holes. Or simply if you want to repair something, if you have to repair thick leather, you can make the holes with the drill. And by the way, such a drill you can also use to pre-hole a bigger hole so that this hole stays in the center or you can, you can use this thing as an arrowhead or a star tip or as nail or as axis for a wind wheel <laughs> or whatever. There are a lot of different possibilities for such a little drill. So this is never a disadvantage. In the next minute, I'll show you a short recap how I made these two variants of drill bits. After, I'll show you how to craft such a drill chuck and I'll show you the technique to use it.
So my friends, that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next Friday. Ciao!